Acts 10, 38. And they began to tell the story when they began to go out and preach the gospel to people and tell them about Jesus they hadn't heard about. And Peter says this, he says, it's about how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about making people sick. It went about just feeling sorry for sick people. Who went about building new hospitals. Thank God for hospitals, don't get me wrong. Thank God. You know, hospitals are like the helps ministry you find in the scripture. They help us. Amen. Doctors, nurses, for the most part, they're in the same business that, that, that God's in. Making people well. Thank God for that. But sometimes the hardest people to talk to about the miraculous is the medical profession. Anyway, how God anointed Jesus and Nazareth with the Holy Spirit with power who went about doing good. And this is, this is, this is the testimony that they were sharing about who Jesus was and who he is. He's the one who went about, and this is what he did. This is his whole life. This is it. He went about and he did good. He did good to people. He forgave people. He healed people. He did good and he healed everybody, all who were oppressed by the devil. I'm telling you, listen, the devil's still alive. He's crazy. He's got brain damage, but he's still roaming, seeking whom he may devour. There is a devil. Listen, if it's bad, it's the devil. Now, don't tell me, you know, you didn't pay your bill and the, the bill collector called and you say, well, that's a devil. <laughs> but it says, it declares here, the scripture declares that people that were sick or possessed or infirmed or lay, he said, it's all from the pit of hell. And I'm gonna tell you, one of the first things you need to realize and get a revelation of is, first of all, that God is good and the devil is bad. And everything that comes against you that is not good in the context of what we're talking about here, you need to say, not for me. Because my God is good and this can't be for me. So I'm resisting it. Resist. What's it say in James? Resist the. Resist what? I must not still be one if, it, if he said resist him, right? Resist the devil and he will flee. The Amplified says he will run in terror. Because you resist. Man, listen, when pain hits your body, when, when symptoms hit your body, you need to resist it with everything that's in you. You need to say, no, not for me. This don't belong to me. My God is my healer, and he bore every sickness and carried away every disease, and this is not for me. By the stripes of Jesus, I am the healed. Jesus.